I'm back on the river again today. Got my traps in the water, but I'm here to show you something a little bit different, and that is how to catch crayfish without traps, just instead using a rod and reel. And so I'm gonna focus on this nice little deep spot right here. I can still see the bottom pretty well. And we're gonna see if we can't catch a few crayfish that way. If you don't have any traps, or even if you do, it's still a really fun way to catch crayfish. So I'll get rigged up and I'll show you how I do it. Okay, so I've got my trout rod here and a spinner on the end. And the spinner isn't really going to do much because really all it is is just a place to hold that bait. And so I don't know if you can tell very well, but hooked onto the treble hook, I just have a piece of raw bacon. And so the crayfish aren't actually going to be attached to the hooks or anything. The hooks just serve to hold the bait. And I found a little spinner like this makes a great thing to use because it's already weighted, so it'll sink down to the bottom really well. So I'm just going to take this, flip it right into that nice still part of the river where I can see it. We'll give it a minute and see if any crayfish come by. Okay, it's been about two minutes. I don't see any crayfish coming in yet, but I'm going to be patient. Give it another few minutes to see if this spot pays off. Catching crayfish this way can be really fun. You're not going to catch a lot of them, that's why I always do traps, but this can be a really fun way to just pass the time while you're waiting for the traps to fill up. Also, if you have kids with you or something like that, they really like catching crayfish this way. I enjoy it too. The other thing is really nice, that, that can be really nice, is if you see a big crayfish sitting near one of your traps but he's not willing to get in, and sometimes the really big males will be hesitant to get into those traps, you can actually cast a little piece of bait like this out in front of them. A lot of times they'll grab onto that and you can get them. So I don't see much out by my bait, but if I look down, right in the water in front of me, whoops, there's a big crayfish just right there. It's about a half inch deep. He's almost coming out of the water. Okay, let's go and hold the camera and do all this. There, set the camera like that. And... There we go. Pretty nice male signal crayfish, so put that one in the bucket and keep going. See another big male over there. He's going the wrong way, but I'm going to see if I can lure him in with his bait. I just drop it right in front of him. Look at that. They are pretty aggressive this time of year, so. And then try to gently pull him in. Oh, he's a nice one. Best thing is to keep him in the water and just try to slip that net right in him. Look at the size of those claws. Nice! That's a great sized crayfish. Nice big male. Cool! Alright, I'll put him in the bucket and see if we can get some more. Oh, look at this. It's really shallow water. No, 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 don't go down the hill. Hang on. Okay. Oh, come on. There we go. Look at him attack that bait. Okay, gotta grab a net. Try not to knock the camera in the water. Or myself. Come on. There we go. Come on. Yeah, come on, I got you. Almost. There we go. <laughs> that was a long reach. But I got him. That's a nice, another nice crayfish. So the spot is really paying off. We just had to be patient, wait for that scent to get out in the water a little bit. But that's great. I'm gonna throw that one in the bucket. If things start to slow down, we'll move to another spot, but so far it's so good. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna stick around in this spot a whole lot longer. There's still a few crayfish down there. One just hitting that rock crack right there. There he comes. But he's not very big. And I'm not seeing a whole lot else in here. So it might be time to move on and find a different spot. Hey, yeah, look at this one. He's almost out of the water. His little antennae are sticking out of the water, as a matter of fact. Pretty cool to see, but we're going to get some bigger ones. So as you can see, I've been using my spinning rod today. And I've got this little strainer I use for a net. I actually bought this thing at a homebrew supply store, but it works really well. 
the thing is, if you wanted to get out and catch crayfish, really you don't need any kind of spinning rod or anything like that. You could literally just, if you're camping or something, all you need is a piece of fishing line. You could tie your bait to one end and use maybe a small rock to weight it down, and then just cut a stick, tie the other end of the line to the stick, and you're good to go. So it can be really fun to catch crayfish without much gear at all. All right, so four pretty decent sized crayfish out of that one spot. This is probably the best one right here. Whoa, whoa, there we go. Look how far back he can reach. <laughs> anyway, um, a lot of fun to catch these guys with a, just on a line. The only thing is, I mean, that was a few minutes, I caught four, it was a lot of fun, but if you're trying to catch enough for a meal, you gotta put traps out. So that's kind of the toss up between catching them by hand and catching them with traps, that's why I like to do both. All right, so here's the trap I set out earlier. And like I said, you, this is a pretty common situation. I've got a few crayfish already in the trap, which is great. Not many, it looks like, but at least a couple. But I've also got some milling around on the outside. And it's one of the advantages to having a trap where you can see it, is that you can actually go ahead and put your bait down in front of some of those crayfish and see if you can't catch them. So if you're patient, they may go in the trap, but I'm not very patient. So let me see if I can do this. So many fish down there. There's one of them. He was actually underneath the trap. Now he's got the bait. And now we should be able to just lift him right out. Excellent. There he comes. There we go. Okay, there comes one. Okay, he's on the outside of the trap, but he looks to be a decent size. All right. Oops, I hooked the trap. I don't want to do that. Oh no. Oh, he's hooked the trap. Okay, it wasn't me. He was just hanging on to it. It's okay, I'm not embarrassed. Too much. Got him. All right, cool. There's another nice one. He's... He's right there at the edge of the trap. Got him. Maybe. Don't got him. So I'm just going to let him get a bit of a grip before we try to pull him up. Where's my net? Oh, this is why I need an assistant. Okay. Come on, buddy. I got you. All right. Hey, guys. So I hiked back up to the car and want to make a quick point about how to keep these crayfish. These are just the ones I caught on rod and reel so far. But first of all, don't keep them underwater, even though that seems like it might be a good idea. They'll run out of oxygen pretty quickly and they'll actually die. So you want to just keep them cool and a little bit wet, but not actually underwater. The other thing is, um, I try to get them in a cooler right away. I've got more crayfish to go get, but I'm going to take this batch and put them in my cooler. I've got some ice packs, and that'll help keep them healthy. Okay, let's hike back down to the stream. Check these other traps. Whoa. Maybe hike wasn't the right word, more stumble back to the stream. Either way, I'll get there. All right, there we go. See anything in the trap? I don't think we're setting any world records, but there might be a couple in there. Definitely a few. Barely see this other trap over here. I think we'll get a few. All right, I'll start pulling up traps and see how we do. Okay, so right in front of me is a pretty cool crayfish fight going on. Looks like two females. Not sure what they're fighting over. But pretty neat to see. All right, so all the traps are out. Everything's pretty well ready to make the hike back to the car. I did okay. Definitely a handful of crayfish in there. 
maybe four dozen plus the ones I caught earlier on rod and reels so we'll see I would have loved to stay a little bit longer catch a few more but I gotta get home beautiful day out here though all right see you next time